Doctors at Toronto's Hospital for Sick Children have pioneered a new surgery that restores lost feeling in the eye. They've been able to successfully transplant a nerve from the patient's leg into the eye. It's a new approach to a medical problem that experts have been unable to solve for years. Abby Mesner was the first person to have the new procedure in 2012, and she joins us now with the surgeon who performed the operation, Dr. Greg Borschel, and wonderful to have you both here. Uh, doctor, I want to start with you to explain to us what mm -hmm. this surgery is. So Abby's problem is, is called corneal anesthesia, and what that means is that she, because of a brain tumor, lost the ability to feel the eye. And that's important because if you can't feel your eye, then you can't protect your eye. And, you know, we've all been in a situation where you get a little piece of sand or grit in your eye, and the only thing you want to do in life is get rid of that piece of sand or grit or whatever it is. That's the only thing that you can concentrate on, and so you do that. But if you lack the ability to protect the eye, then you get repetitive trauma, scarring, and then eventually what happens is the cornea, the clear part of the eye, uh, becomes opaque because of scarring, yeah. and we know uh, from our, our colleague Awesome Ali's work, uh, that you lose vision, okay, inevitably. And this is a problem that the ophthalmologists have struggled with for years and years and years, uh, and there hasn't been a real definitive solution. Until now. Until now. So what, what we do, our approach with Dr. Ali and my partner, uh, Ron Zucker at SickKids, is uh, it's actually quite simple. So what we do is we go to the other side of the face, and we find an area of normal sensation. In this case, we went to Abby's forehead, and we found a normal nerve that provided sensation to part of the forehead, and because there was extra nerve supply there, we could tap into it, and then we harvested a nerve, an expendable nerve from her leg, and then we took the feeling ability from the forehead and then transmitted it by means of this nerve graft over to the other side, and then Dr. Ali, our ophthalmology colleague, put that into her eye, right around the edge of the clear part of the eye, so it could restore the feeling in the eye, and so Abby could protect her eye. And look at the, and life has changed for you, Abby, because at the time, you were 11 years old, and, and had a brain tumor, yeah. and, and then had this eye issue, so even going outside and not being able to feel that something was in your eye was detrimental. How has life changed? Oh, it, it's changed drastically. I have a lot more independence, too, now, because I'm off at university, and, like, residence is dry. I'm not so worried about, like, get my eye getting dry or getting things in my eyes when I go out to walk to class. So it's, it's definitely changed my life a lot. And as I understand it, doctor, there are other doctors, specialists coming from around the world to sick kids to learn about this procedure. That's right. At, at present, we're the only ones in the world doing it. And our hope for the future is that surgeons from around the world, plastic and reconstructive surgeons like us, ophthalmologists like Dr. Ali, will we'll come and visit and learn the technique and then be able to treat lots of other patients like Abby with the same thing. And there have been eight total so far? Yes, yeah, so far we've treated eight patients uh, and two had the problem in both eyes. So a total of 10 eyes treated so far. Uh, and we think that there are many, many more such patients around the world who, if left untreated, we know from Dr. Ali's studies and those done elsewhere in the world, they'll go blind if untreated. This is amazing news. Glad mm -hmm. you're doing so well. Mm -hmm. So thank nice to meet you, Abby. Doctor, thank you for this. Thank you.